Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Just uh, compressing and then decompressing myself, much like you would do with a variety of files, maybe just one file, but it's usually a lot of files that you pack together inside an archive, a zip file. You know, it's uh, something that uh, people do. And in some cases, you may want to look inside a compressed uh, file that has many files inside of it but you may not have the software lying around, or you just don't want to uh, mess with installing software on somebody's computer, or maybe you just want a different way of unarchiving things without worrying about it littering your hard drive with a variety of files. You know the zip file lives on the web, but there's no real easy way of unarchiving an archive, unless, of course, uh, you use the resource I'm about to show you here, wobzip.org. W-O-B-Z-I-P dot O-R-G. See, wobzip.org. Uncompress on the fly. So what you got to do is you choose the file that you want to unarchive, and that could either be on your computer, or you can uncompress it from a URL. It may live on the web, which is where most of the archives out there do happen to be. So you have it on your hard drive. Uh, it may be password protected, in which case you put the password right in there, and then you press the WOBZIP button. Now, they say the maximum file size is currently at 100 meg, and the formats supported are as follows. 7Z, ZIP, GZIP, BZIP2, TARS, RARS, CABS, ISOs, ARGES. Has anybody seen an ARG archive in, like, forever? LZH, CHM, Z, CPIOs, RPMs, DEBs, and NISSES. Isn't that like a TV show? NSIS? Isn't that like some kind of... Anyway, let me zoom out again. Uh, they've also uh, got, uh, you know, a bug report and a way uh, that you can, you know, enter in the uh, archive that you want to uninstall uh, directly from the, uh, the address bar if you wanted to go that route. Or you could just, again, use wobzip.org directly, indirectly. Check it out. It's free. It's easy, nothing to install, and there's probably no easier way of peeking inside an archive without having to download that zip file beforehand. I'd say it's pretty impressive. I've never seen a service like this before, and I'd be surprised if you had as well. It's a nice way of, you know, doing things that you otherwise would not have been able to do. I love web services. And if you do too, feel free to drop me a line, chris at perillo.com. If you've got a web service, maybe you created or you know of something that might be helpful for others out there, whether they're geeks or non-geeks. If you are a geek, you're more than welcome to join us in our community at geeks.perillo.com. Uh, can't really upload zip files, but you can upload videos. You can embed your YouTube videos. You can upload photos. You can blog. You can participate in the forums, ask questions, give answers. Of course, you can do you know the live chat thing in the chat room. We're typically talking tech pretty much everywhere on the web, but specifically, if you want to be a part of this video experience that's going out online right now, right now, like if you check it, guarantee it's live, unless of course it's it's not, in which case, uh, call 911, because there's probably something very wrong with me. <clears throat> If you'd like to find out, there's no easier way other than going to your web browser and uh, typing in a little URL known as well. Has has that go again, gang? What what is, what is it? Ha, has 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 it? Ho, hey, what? Huh? Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.